Hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. In the last session, we spoke with Jote. <laughs> Jote? Spoke with Jote, yes. Zote, the chatty. And uh, listened to his 57 precepts and then we went into Bretta's place and discovered that she has been dreaming of Zote. And uh, it's not like the Zote we know. <laughs> that led to one of the hardest boss fights, boss fights the second hardest boss fight, I think, in the entire game. So, uh, yeah, that was a thing. And uh, today, we have one single place left to explore over here. Seems to be that that is the final, the final joint. Everything else is pretty much wrapped up. I mean, I know there's a lot of, like, stuff more to find within these areas, people have been saying. And I mean, like, just the boss list in God Home alone kind of shows that. But uh, in terms of, like, new areas, I'm pretty sure we're heading to the last one right now. So, first of all, I want to stop off at Mr. Caterpillar. Because we've got a lot of shit now. I don't know if we've got all of them, but... Probably not got all of them, considering there's still an area we haven't been into, but we're going to be getting pretty fucking close. That is for sure. Oh shit, what? My guy just gave me the fucking final pale ore. Oh my god! Okay! I wasn't expecting that at all! And the King's Idol. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! We can go and upgrade that shit! Oh, thank fuck! Cool! Wow! I'm glad that I came here then. <laughs> okay, how many are we left? There's one slot. There's one slot there and one right behind it. So two there. Three there. Four and five there. Is that it? I think there's only five slots left. Oh, they're so fucking cute. Oh, they're so fucking cute. I love them. I love them. So yeah, we're definitely getting close. Uh, right. Well, this changes things. I now need to. You know what? It's probably quicker to go back to dirt mouth, right? I now need to go and upgrade that shit. I must have enough Geo. There's no way it costs more than seven grand. Do, do, do. Uh, is it City Storerooms? I think is the closest, right? I do believe. Yeah, just drop all the way down. Forgot about that. Wait, no, it's not that way. <laughs> God, I've been it through here so many times, you would think that I'd know the way by now. And yet. And yet I do not. Okie. 
Hello, friend. To forge the perfect nail. Forge ah, me the perfect nail, bro. Ugh, ah, it's Senya. Mm. Oh, you've returned. I see you have some pale ore. A rare, fine metal, that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts. And I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Four grand. Okay, that's more than I was expecting, but sure. I'm Do never going to get that 12k. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. As you wish. I'll get to work then. Garadel Akari. Garadel Akari. It's done. The reforging is done. Your nail is much stronger than it used to be. As strong as it could ever be. Ah, okay. That's that's confirmation then. That is the last piece of pale ore. And the last upgrade. Huge pog. In only your weapon have I seen such potential. Finally, I behold the majesty of a pure nail. To think this moment has come upon me so soon. I, I must step outside a moment. Hmm? This is my house now, bitch. Hello, what are you fucking doing here, mate? Ah, Ranjo Stenja. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. With a pure nail forged, my work in this lifetime comes to an end. My only remaining desire is to see and feel the nail strike true. <laughs> Wait, really? I beg you, cut me down. As my final moment in life, I want to taste the blade's exquisite edge. After all this time, all this toil, haven't I earned it? Wait, really? Can't listen to your thoughts? I don't know. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> do, do you want to think about this, mate? <laughs> you just like, it's been, it's been five seconds since you knew a pure nail existed. And you're already like, well, time to die. I don't know. Should we do it? Should we do it? I feel really bad. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Okay, that's still a two shot. If we go out and then go back in, is he still stood at the edge? Like, I don't know. Is this just the end of his story, as it were? Is it just the end of his story and that's just what we gotta do? Oh, he's actually. Is he in here? Oh! Huh. Did I fuck up? Maybe I fucked up. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that, and that's just like, yeah, this is this is the end of him. That's just how it is. But now he's gone. Hmm. Unsure. Okay. I'm really starting to make use of this sharp shadow now, and it feels fucking great. You guys were saying that one sharp shadow dash is equivalent to one nail strike of your current, currently upgraded nail. Which means these guys can be hit once and then dash through and it's GG. Or dash through and then hit from behind and it's GG. Like so. I'm starting to, I'm starting to get the hang of the dashing thing. It's just so hard. Like, 
I had a bunch of comments when I first got the Shadow Dash, like, oh my god, I can't believe you're not dashing through enemies now. And it's like, motherfucker, I've just spent 30 hours playing a game where dashing through enemies is not possible. And then it suddenly goes, surprise, now you can. That's hard to unlearn. That's really hard to unlearn after you've spent 30 hours with that not being a possibility. But, uh, I am definitely starting to get the hang of it now. Okay. So, where would be the closest point, do we think? Let's have a look at the map, actually. We want to go... Well, we could go there. That is the way we've gone in before. We could also go in from there. We linked up these two points. Uh, the green path one is kind of far away. Hmm. Speaking of green path, I wonder if there's anything I can do over here. That Lake of Oon one. Because I'm pretty sure that was like an acid lake, right? And now I can swim in that. I wonder if there's anything down the other end. Hmm. You know what? Now that I've thought of it, so I don't forget it, let's go and look. Let's go and look. Could well be nothing, but now that I've thought of it, I need to know. So, it is literally just up to the left here and then straight left. Have we seen another entrance like this? Like this cut out sort of curved thing? I feel like we've seen another entrance that, to something that's kind of like this recently. But I can't think what. Hmm. Worth a try. My bro's gone from the edge. Yeah, it is acid. Anything in here that I missed? The way the light's coming down from the top makes me think there's something hidden there, but I guess not. Okay, is there anything... Well, first of all, anything under here? No. Wait, why can't I... Oh, I guess because I'm under there, I can't... When I press jump, he just, like, does this little duck under the water thing. Oh. Aluba. Passive glider that prefers to dwell near acid waters. Whatever care... What careless a life led drifting above us all. If one ever comes too close to the ground, though. Hmm. You just needed to get one of those to fill, fill out the whole thing. That's interesting. Hello, there is definitely something here. Secrets. Oh, a whole new screen. Okay. wonder what other places like this I've forgotten. Places that I couldn't get to when I first found them and now can. Probably a few. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what is the point in that? What is the fucking point in that shortcut? Oh god, that's a big fall. <laughs> We're not going to have a fucking underwater boss fight, are we? That looks kind of like that thing, these things in the background. They kind of look like huge whispering roots. Do you think? These two. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh. Shape of Oon. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh... Fuck, what did it look like? Ah, this one. Reveals the form of Oon within the bearer. While focusing soul, the bearer will take on a new shape and can move freely to avoid enemies. What? You can move whilst you're healing? Huh. Man, we have got almost all the charms now. Obviously, this one is up in Dirtmouth right now. 12k to get it back. But aside from that, one, two, three, four, five. We have got almost all of them. Can I make this thing come back? I didn't expect it to disappear. I'm hoping I didn't miss any... Like, could I have dream nailed it or anything? Hmm. I wonder if I come back wearing that thing? Gotta try that. Hmm. Okay, let's take off Sharp Shadow briefly and put on Shape of Oon. And back we go. <laughs> Maybe? No, nothing? Aww. Hmm. I guess that's it then. I guess it just turns up... Is that supposed to be like this... This Oon? Because we've heard a few of those... Like a couple of those lore tablet things. About Oon, I'm pretty sure. So that's... Is that supposed to be something that's like worshipped in this area? And it's given us its blessing kind of thing. Interesting. Cool. Well, glad I found that. It must never be allowed to live. Okay. Uh, interesting, though, that is I was really liking Sharp Shadow. So I'm going to keep using that. Right, so, that is that. Is there anything else around here? I mean, there's that thing, like, at the bottom of uh, 
the, the map here, but I'm pretty sure that was a one-way thing. I'm pretty sure I have to come at that from the other side, if memory serves. And aside from that, that looks like everything now? I'm pretty sure. So I guess we can just go to Fog Canyon from this way. Down all the way here. I guess we'll reset our spawn point. right. Nice. Imagine getting hit by that this far into the game. Oh, 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 hang on. Anything? Anything hiding about under here? Here to be. Hey! Obble. Does it realize what a nuisance it is, drifting around, spilling its noxious juices everywhere it goes? If you see any, make sure to kill them. <laughs> Wait, was it? Yeah. And then straight down here, that's a bench. We may as well hit the bench just to get the spawn point in case we die. I'd very much like to not die, if at all possible. Here we go. Here we go. Now this way, I'm pretty sure, was where What's-His-Face was, right? <laughs> Ghastly, eerie creature made out of thick liquid. You can peer right through them and can't see where they keep all their thoughts. I don't trust them at all. Keep away. Hell yeah, baby! Huh, there's a way up here? Ow. Wait, he must be up there then. Because... If you hear him, he's on that screen, right? That went well. Fuck's sake. Hey, buddy! How many mopter? How many Ho ho! As odd as much of Hollow Ness can be, there's a whole new level of strangeness about these caves. Did you see that dark gate below? It's quite unsettling to be near. I did my best to avoid it. Fortunate for me, I found another route in, though I did end up a little singed after wading through some acid. Oh, yes, yes. Choco, let's this. There's a large building just below here, out in the middle of a lake, and a marvel to observe. I tried to head in, but it's become a nest for those slimy, see-through creatures. Ugh, they're just so gross, and they give a nasty shock to touch. Cool.
Oh my goodness. Oh my god, it's right there. Okay. Okay. Overgrown mound. So I guess, yeah, those those must be black gates or something. Those two places I couldn't get to. Where I marked the blue markers, and then the one on the right is the link to the fungal waste. God, there's a dead big boy here? Oh, there's multiple dead big, big boys here. Tired. Drained. Interesting. Wait, what? What? What's up here? That's hitting something. Wait, it was. Unless, is it just hitting the vine? Oh, it's hitting the vine through the wall. Okay. Damn it. I love the little dance you have to play with those. Okay. Right, so now we are here. Fuck, I didn't, didn't realize that. Okay. So is this the bit we've already been through? Where am I now? Yes, this is the link. Well, I didn't fucking mean to fall all the way down. <laughs> Actually, is there anything I can... Any secrets under... No. So we've made that connection. Good, good. Uh, and then up takes you to the crossroads. We've made that connection. So down takes you to the other dreamer. God damn it, I will never fucking be able to get good at dodging those. They're so hard. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck. Man, that's interesting, actually. I was mid-shadow dash when that hit me, right? So that shouldn't have been able to deal damage to me because I was in my shadow iframes. And yet it did anyway. Am I crazy or should that not deal damage to you when you're dashing? It's too much fun to keep trying it, even though it causes me so much damage. <laughs> it's too fun. Oh, hello. Manamata Churo Naman. Manamata Churo Naman. Doesn't this kingdom just abound with surprises? A building atop an acid lake. Despite the sight, I can't help but feel familiarity. Something stirs in my mind. Though I can't yet tell what. I thought it my lust for discovery that led me here. 
But now there seems something else. This building beckons me. Oh yeah? Hmm. I can feel it calling. Dare I head in? Hmm. Who are you that leads me to this place? I hear it. Hang on. Hang on. Ha ha! Sick. Okay. That's like, what, four left to go then? Wait, there's a stag station down here? Or is that just pointing to the fungal wastes? I remember there being a stag station down here. Oh no, it's definitely pointing to, uh, yeah, the queen station. Right, right, right. Oh, get fucked. Okay, so... Should we just do that now? I mean, I'm kind of curious. Was it a, was it a black gate that was preventing me progressing this way? Oh, no, it was acid. Hmm. Hmm. Should we just do this? Should we just do this? I'm kind of curious. I don't think it's gonna like lock me into an end game path when I do this because I'm pretty sure people have been saying that you can keep playing after you like beat the boss. The final boss. Like it's not and now your game is over, kind of thing. So, I think I should be fine doing this now, before going to explore everywhere else. I'm just really curious. So, the teacher's archives. Let's go.